Over the last week or so, I've been bringing Transenterics to this channel a lot. There has been a lot of news, a lot of hype. You guys love the company. I love the company. And so I've been trying my best to keep you all as up to date as possible as I possibly can whenever I'm creating this content, you know, and putting it out on my channel. Now, with that being said, we did get some more news today about TRXC that I think is actually pretty good news. I think going into the future here, this could be super beneficial. And it has made me as an investor even more confident in my investment. So we are going to get into that in today's video i don't believe that this is going to be a super duper long video but i did want to make sure that i brought you guys this news and i talked to you about what i think it could do for this company going on into the future here and bring you why i believe that this is you know this enables me to become even more confident with this investment now i did want to update you guys and give the announcement that my patreon is now live i will be posting every single day the trades that i make the trades that me and my team of investors make they will also be in the discord bringing their information bringing their news and research i personally have been up about over 100% on cloud commerce this week, over 150% on bio nanogenomics. I've been up over 90% on TRXC, and the list goes on and on. We have made some fantastic trades. This is a big opportunity for anyone who does want to take advantage of it, and if you do just want to show some extra support to the channel. Now, the Patreon will also include extra videos that I will not be posting on YouTube. I will be providing everyone with early access to the content and research that I do for these videos before I post them, and I will also be interacting in the Discord every single day talking talking to you all, answering your questions, giving my, you know, just overall advice or opinion on any stocks that you do mention. So with that being said, if you do want to support the channel, if you want to go ahead, hit that link in my description, head over to the Patreon and support it. I would really, really appreciate it. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's jump into this news on Transenterics because I think it could be a big one. So as we did talk about a few days ago, there was a $31.25 million registered direct offering that was supposed to happen today. Well, today we can see that it was announced that it closed and was successful. Now, this is not necessarily the most important part of this entire thing. Yes, it is good that it went successfully and that they were now capable of having a lot more cash on hand, but it's this right here. This is what I believe to be super duper important. It said the proceeds from this offering in combination with recent financing activity extends extends cash runway into the fourth quarter of 2022. Now, there's two aspects of this that I'm very excited about. The first one is this right here recent financing activity because we haven't necessarily heard too too much about what this company was doing monetarily and how they were uh, you know switching up their financial game plan but if they were not doing anything and if they weren't making changes to their financials and figuring out ways to better manage their capital then i don't believe that this would have been added to this and it wouldn't have been reported by the company so i do believe that this could be of huge potential if we do get information soon about what exactly they're referring to here so definitely keep an eye out for that because i think I think that could be pretty big news knowing that this company's financials could be better now secondly the the next thing up obviously the next segment of this sentence is that it extends cash runway into the fourth quarter of 2022 now i believe that this is important because we have seen them do public offerings in the past and we have seen them struggle to maintain the cash in order to keep operations going now if we do go back to some of their sec filings from about six to seven months ago we can see right here in their liquidity and going concern that they were struggling so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to read you guys this one real quick it says that the company's condensed consolidated financial statements are prepared using USGAAP applicable to a going concern, which contemplate the realization of assets and liquidation of liabilities in the normal course of business. The company has an accumulated a deficit of 709 million as of September 30th of 2020 and working capital of 26.1 million as of September 30th of 2020. The company has not established sufficient sales revenues to cover its operating costs and requires additional capital to proceed with its operating plan. So, of course, we can see here now that this direct offering was 100% in order to increase capital in order to continue their operations. But we have seen in the past. Now, if you do want to go check this out, I'm not going to go into each and every one, but they have done offerings in the past in order to raise money. And, you know, that could be an issue in the sense that, yeah, OK, we can keep doing this over and over, which could potentially be diluted it really bad and if they're just going to keep burning through cash and not be able to keep up with their revenue then what exactly is the point of even investing into this company if they're just going to keep repeating this process well i believe that we actually have a good one here if we do go back to their year end highlights we can see how much of a successful year that they had and it completely completely exponentially grew from 2019 to 2020. so of course again in 2020 10 Sinhan systems were installed under operating leases nine clinical programs were initiated and over 1400 
150 procedures were performed globally. On December 31st, the company had approximately 17.5 million in cash, cash equivalents, and restricted cash, and the company currently expects to have cash to support operations into the third quarter of 2021. So now that they have even more cash, it does say, like as we do go back right over here, we can see that it says that this extends the cash runway into the fourth quarter of 2022. So that is a very significant amount of time that they will then, you know, have a good threshold of cash on hand. So yeah, all of that is going to be fantastic. Of course, you know, like the fact that they have 17.5 million in cash and everything that we just discussed, that is good. But it's what we what they have done whenever it comes to increasing their potential. They've grown their potential and they've grown their potential consumer base significantly and opened up so many doors from themselves last year that I think this year could be the year that they finally start to run off. Here we are. It says that Sanhan Surgical System receives its registration certificate by the Russian Medical Device Regulatory Agency, not going to give that one a try, which allows for its sale and utilization throughout the Russian Federation, which is very, very big. I'm not sure if you guys know how big the Russian Federation is, but it's not a small thing. Now, a Southern Surgical Hospital in Louisiana, my home state, entered into an agreement to lease and utilize the Sin Hands. They had their first pediatric cases utilizing Sin Hands. The first surgical procedure successfully completed using the ISU. As we can see here, they really started to open a lot of doors, especially here. And because what we were seeing in the past, and the issue that I was seeing with this company in the past, is that they needed cash simply for the fact a lot of it was R&D. They were starting to try to figure out their systems and figure out how to make this product work. But now it seems like a lot of their money has gone into now expanding out. Like, okay, we got the technology down. We have a very good understanding of our own business model. We're going to be leasing these things out. We're going to be selling them to other places. Okay, now, now that we, you know, we have figured all of these different, you know, first stepping stones, let's get to expanding. Let's start getting approval from the Russian Federation. Let's expand out into more states. Let's see some of these other hospitals utilize these and have successful operations in order to then use those operations as examples to advertise out to more even potential investors and potential consumers. That is what I'm talking about whenever I say that this year and the fact that they're doing all of this now makes me think that they could be finally going in the right direction. I'm very curious to see what they will then do with all of these proceeds specifically. Their next earnings report should be interesting and i do believe that we will see a lot of growth this is a company and a holding i am holding on to but there will be a lot more information about my shares and my position and the trades i make on this company in the patreon so of course don't forget to go down to the link below and support that out but with that being said again let me know you guys' opinions down in the comment section below i'm quite curious on what you think is going to go on with this again we cannot forget that they said with recent financing activity so i want to know what that is i feel like a little kid who just like wants to know something that he can't know so hopefully they do release that pretty soon here again leave in your comment leave in the comment section below what you think is going to happen and your thoughts on transenteric ticker symbol trxc with that being said that will be the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy today's video i do have one more coming out for the day so definitely stick around and wait for that one because it should be coming soon with that being said i will see y'all in the next one peace